That is internet sensation. A cat known as Lil Bub, a stray who was taken in and is now a star on YouTube. And Lil Bub is the perfect cat to help us celebrate National Cat Week right here on PTL. Because there are other strays out there looking for a home, including these little kittens with us today. We want to welcome Shannon Clark of Animal Friends. So tell us who you brought with us so, well, without you today. <laughs> this is so cute, their names. They're so cute. So they're kind of late night stars, right? This is Johnny Carson, and this is Arsenio Hall. Love I it. love the first and last <laughs> names. <laughs> There's a whole litter of them with um like with the talk show names. Oh, so we need to get we yeah, need you to guys get David yeah. Highfield and Heather Abraham. Can we have that? Can we make yes. that happen? Can we make yeah. that happen? Yeah. When David adopts both of these ones. Oh, yeah. we're making a deal. <laughs> yeah. All right. Can you do the little whoop 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 oh, Okay, so he's gonna make a run for it. He's like, I'm not having that. I did I need paid extra for that, David. <laughs> well, so we're celebrating a national uh, we're celebrating Cat Week here on uh PTL, but it's also a big month for senior animals. Right. Right, so November is also Adopt a Senior Pet Month. Mm -hmm. So these guys are coming in today as a spokesperson for all the senior pets that we have at Animal Friends. We have <laughs> so many you got wonderful. A runner yes. <laughs> oh, oh. He's ready to Come go. On, <laughs> He's like, where are we going? <laughs> All right. That's good. We have so many <laughs> senior pets at Animal Friends that are available for adoption because we know that everybody loves the young ones. Kittens, puppies, they go fast. the young rabbits. They go fast. They're adorable. <laughs> I mean, they're really sweet. But older pets, I mean, they, a lot of people have a really special place in their heart oh, for them. Don't you know, like ready that to <laughs> and there are real advantages to getting an older pet too. Right. Like uh, if you're if you don't need all this rambunctiousness, for instance. <laughs> right. Right. Yes. Like the, the the young ones do have a lot of energies. One of the benefits of senior pets, though, too, is sometimes they're a little bit calmer. <laughs> Sometimes okay. they're calmer. This is a prime example. Yeah, if you're not ready for a kitten, <laughs> seeing your pet is probably the way to go. <laughs> well, and there's the, the old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but you can. We, yes. In fact, we had someone on mm -hmm. last week who, who helped train older cats and, right. and, and kittens right. too, but you can teach older pets. Absolutely, yeah, that's tricks. just an old wives' tale. We have, I mean, the animals that come in are of all ages. <laughs> You should have run. <laughs> You're really going to make me work for it today, huh? <laughs> but <laughs> there are okay. advantages, you said, because... You just, <laughs> you just gave up, David, huh? <laughs> it was All right, David, much. just go. <laughs> <laughs> but you can bring, you can teach them new tricks. Um, we have animals that come in of all ages. Yeah. We have seniors that come in, and our volunteers and our staff work with them constantly to to get them ready for their homes. They, they you know, they're learning sit within days of them being there. They're, we're clicker training cats. Uh. We're teaching some of them how to high five with clicker training. Some of the kitties. It's so you can teach them tricks. So when so. you say clicker training, so you give a little click. To motivate them or to, to cue them to do something? It's a little bit of both. So, what they learn. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. So, okay, people. <laughs> so, with clicker training, it's positive reinforcement because they learn that the click, they learn that the click is a good thing. Yeah. So, whenever you're first teaching them, it's a click and a treat. So, then they start to associate the click with good stuff. Okay. So, then that awesome. just kind of cues them to do what you want. And then it's a, a reward, too. Well, oh, Shannon, gosh. thank you for bringing Johnny Carson and <laughs> sure. Arsenio Hall. They were very they're entertaining. Both, they're both yes. very entertaining. <laughs> and for more on today's kittens or adopting a senior pet, contact Animal Friends online or stop at the shelter. It's right along Camp Horn Road. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ridden the incline, eaten potato patch fries at Kennywood? Yes. Then you can check those things off of the 101 things every Pittsburgher must do. What else is on the list? We find out next in our quest to see how Pittsburgh we are. And then a little bit later on, a Pittsburgh band making its national television debut. The Common Heart is back home with news of a big show this weekend and a special request for fans. Stay with us for that. We're still wrangling cats over here. <laughs> <laughs> you stay here. Got a new